Sirius XM Channel 80 for the ESPNU station. We want to welcome all of you who have just been listening to Illinois, the 18th ranked fighting line. I'm making a statement over Wisconsin, an 80 to 67 win between two of the best in the Big Ten. Kofi Coburn goes for 37 points and 12 rebounds. Randolph Childress, I tee you up with this. Is Kofi Coburn the best big man in America? You know what? It's going to be hard to 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 argue against that. I'll say he's playing as well as any big any big in the country. I I, I can't disrespect Oscar Sheboy. I think he's been a an absolute force. Uh, but but Kofi has just been dominant. I mean, I I, I would like to see him be a, a little bit better defensively. I think he puts so much effort in, 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 but he he puts a he puts a physical pounding on teams. He's imposing his will on people and. And and I haven't seen anybody slow him down. I mean, we we've seen some. He's had some off nights, but he's he's starting to edge his name up into the the, the player of the year and, and Big Ten player of the year conversation. I mean, he's been there, but I think he's starting to get to the front of the line on that. Hmm. Steve, Sixteen for nineteen from the field. He was dominant. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, he's you know you when you we do those all American teams and you write you know it's like. You know, I mean, you could throw a bunch of these four or five men on there. You know, Oscar, Kofi. Um, he needs to stay out of foul trouble like he did tonight, you know, for Illinois to be at their best. Uh, but Illinois, the great thing about them is they've been – they've won without him and played well in stretches without him now. They're starting to right. learn how to right. do that. But when he's right like he is tonight, he's a dominant force. And that's a big win, you know, uh, for Illinois tonight. Huge win. First place in the Big Ten. Yeah, a massive win as the Fighting Illini take over the top spot in the Big Ten with a statement win over Wisconsin. And I think that the the ultimate testament of who the Illini are is the fact that they're down Kofi, they're down Andre Curbelo, they still beat Michigan State last week. That was such a telling win, Randolph, and I see you nodding. But now tonight, like, Trent Frazier only scores seven points in this game. And we've been talking about his importance. But even when he's not scoring the ball, he had seven assists in this game tonight, Randolph. What's he mean? It's not – the ability to score – that's why I like Illinois. I'm how Illinois is. It's not just because Kofi and how dominant he is. It's their guard play. And corbello has been out most of the year. He's only played in six games. So he's been a rock for that team. I mean, he's kind of – he and Frazier just – you know, Plummer and Frazier just kept that, you know, that team together and – they're getting, they're getting, you know, buckets here from everybody else. But those three, when Carvello comes back, by the time they get to the tournament, I, I think they have a legitimate chance of making a run at it. I, I don't because they're balanced. I mean, they're going to have a dominant inside force and three guards that can, I think, outside of Miami, they, they're going to be as good as any three guards that we're going to see in, in, in the tournament this year. Yeah, and Demonte Williams, you, you just he is such a. He is such he an important, like. important player for that team. Uh, and I always say, like, he's a legacy player. His dad was a phenomenal player there. You know, so he gets the tradition. It means more to him. Uh, he understands. He just gets it. But, you know, again, like Randolph was saying, you look at – it's not always about points. And you look at his stat line tonight, you know, it's eight rebounds. It's five assists. You know, he just does everything. He guards the toughest player on the other team most nights. Um, and then on the flip side, when you look at Wisconsin, for them to be great, they need that. They need the three-headed monster to show up. Like, they can't – it can't just be two of the three. You know, it can't just be Johnny and uh, and Tyler, you know, or Johnny and Brad. It needs to be Johnny, Brad, and Tyler. You know, and then Crowell and Hepburn, they got to pitch in. But they got to have three guys for them to go win games like this tonight. I thought Crowell needed Kofi. to play well tonight, bringing him, pulling him out from the basket. They need him to pull Kofi out from the basket. And if he's not making yeah. shots and Kofi gets to hang in the paint, I, I thought that perimeter defense of Illinois was able to smother the shooters. And they needed Crowell to, to pull Kofi out. And when he couldn't make shots from the perimeter, I just thought the rest of the guys were in trouble. Yeah. National then, Player of the Year candidate Johnny Davis goes for 22 points, but another night where you had to make him – you, 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 you made him uncomfortable for him to right. get there. They made him earn it. And, yeah. and that's the thing. For those, for those who, 
who don't believe that the Illini defend well enough. They have shown guys the last week defensively to, to force Johnny Davis, Coach Prom, into 5-19 and 19 from the floor. That says it all about what you can do defensively. You said they smother the shooters. A 38% defensive field goal percentage, I mean, that's elite. I mean, that's high level. I mean, you know, maybe you can get 35, 36, 37, but if you go 38, you're holding a 12% from the three. And then on the flip side, again, we talked about Kentucky sharing the ball. Look at the assisted baskets for Illinois. I think 21 out of 32 baskets. Uh, but I think Brad's teams are about toughness. They're about competing. Yeah. You know, he is pissed off about Trent Frazier not being uh, – you know, named on the defensive player of the year list. I mean, he should be, you know, he, he should be. Uh, DeMonte Williams, those guys, I mean, they hold a very good Wisconsin team at 38% shooting. That's, that's, that's winning, winning characteristics.